Are you taking 100% responsibility for your life and business? Today on the Wandering But Not Lost podcast. Welcome to Wandering But Not Lost, your online source for finding balance so that you can align, connect, and prosper. I'm living right here and now and I don't want to miss out. Is this what life's all about? The world is calling and I'm listening. Yeah, I'm listening. And now your hosts, Jen O'Brien and Matt Emerson. You have clicked on the Wandering But Not Lost podcast where real estate and reality meet. This is episode 130. You can find all of our show notes over at WBNLpodcast.com. Jenna Bryan, we continue to live in Groundhog's Day. Uh, every yes. day is seems like the other. And uh, we're going to Every what, Friday what? seems to be you in this beautiful, picturesque <laughs> uh, trees and the outdoors of uh, your location on location in Florida. I'm in, of course, my studio in Hender. Henderson, or some people like to call it Hender Tucky, which <laughs> no, is they're, they're, quite, quite offensive. I was going to say, I don't think that's a very nice... Uh, it's type. not, and I don't believe that at all. I love Henderson. Um, but yeah, so how is life? Well, last week at this time, we were tracking Hurricane uh, Isaias. Totally missed Florida. I mean, completely. Isaias and I... <laughs> Boy, but, it, <laughs> but it did some damage up in the uh, you know, middle of the coast. Goodness gracious. It moved fast up the East Coast and really yeah. did. Once again, Florida just sort of missed it. And then yeah. it hit the Carolinas and then on up, right? Literally, this time of the year, you know, you get tropical tropical rainfall every day in Florida. Mm-hmm. You know, we actually, uh, last Sunday was when it was supposed to actually hit, had less rain than we have had the entire time I've been down here. So, I mean, that's how it sucked all of the air. Uh, everything just got sucked into that into that hurricane out into the Gulf, I mean, into the Atlantic. So we got, we really had, a, it was a wonderful day here. Hardly even any breeze. It was kind Is of it- odd. But isn't there something brewing out there again? No, oh, there's several. They they say this is there's this is going to be two times worse than any oh, other hurricane. Lovely. Season. Come on, 2020. What else you got for yeah, us? Exactly. Don't I even know. say that, right? Well, that yeah. you know, our topic today is a little bit around just finding that focus and and and, and honestly, what, what I want to dive in before we dive in, I got to talk about something that is such a highlight i mean you've got to find the things to hold on to during this extended pandemic and the news that we're listening to i mean i i cannot watch all of that and you gotta be living in the moment well all i'm telling you is hockey is back and i was listening to these guys yesterday because the golden knights won their second game and it was it was it was just a masterpiece it came from behind it was golden but it's, it's interesting how hockey NHL has come up with this round robin, but what, what it's doing, it's creating amazing, you know, there's not been any sports, but there's right now during these qualifiers before they start the round of 16 for the real playoffs, there's five to six games on every day. I mean, it's like just not start at nine o'clock in the morning on the West Coast. You can watch a hockey game, then another one, and then another one. <laughs> it's awesome. I've never watched so much hockey. So I'm happy. That's I'm making glad, me very I'm happy. I'm glad you're happy, Jennifer. And, and go Knights were... go. They're they're awesome. Exactly. They're they're looking good. I feel very good. I think we're gonna make it to the to the Stanley Cup. You're listening to the Wandering But Not Lost Podcast, where real estate and reality meet. Join us and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Play, and now on YouTube. But let's jump in, Mr. Emerson, because you, as we have been talking about, and we have got people beta testing our site right now, and uh, you actually can go over to WBNL Coaching and take a look at our new offerings. And one of our courses is called Align Connect Prosper. And this is just a, a productivity, it's kind of a life coaching course. Um, there's a lot of articles over the years that we've written, and I wanted to be able to go back and uh, add some content to those. And so today the topic is taking personal responsibility for your life and business. And several years ago, I went through some of the best training I've ever done on NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. Right. And it was with it. And I do believe that Tad and Adriana James are still here. Um here in Vegas, I think they're here in Henderson. And I actually think they still, I don't know if they still do, but this was like some 10 years ago. They actually also train in Sydney, Australia. Now I would have liked to go into Sydney to, yeah, take no my, to take my live training, but they, they are at nlpcoaching.com. 
you can go check it out. But I highly recommend whether you're not just because of being a coach, it's it's actually some of the best sales training that you can take. But there's a couple concepts that I learned in there that I'm going to talk about today that are things I always go back to when I find myself getting a little out of whack and allowing things to allow it. Because I personally do believe that we have one choice every day when we get up, we have a choice on. And I, you know, I've been teaching this concept to my my Charlie, my little six and a half year old, because he'll get angry about something. And he'll say to me, Jan, you are making me so mad right now. And I'm like, no. I'm not making you mad and I'll go through the things that I'm about to go through here today. And I'm really working on this with him because he'll say silly things like we play Pokemon, which is just so fun. And he goes, I'm going now just get the, the, the thing of a, of a six and a half year old and think about how this maybe works in your life. It, you're making me so mad right now. And, it, and it's just because I'm asking him, you know, whatever. It's like I said something and whatever he just got in a mood he goes i'm going to if you if you do that one more time i'm going to delete my dragonite which is his favorite pokemon like that's gonna hurt me it's hurting him i'm gonna do this thing that you know i don't want to do if you keep doing this and i thought to myself wow how interesting is that so i am working on my six and a half year old a great nephew on the whole you have a choice every single day charlie gray you get to decide how you feel about something. Okay. And that is the truth. And I think we all have to learn that because how many people do you know that walk around right now all the time before all this other additional stress in everyone's life, focusing on what they don't have. You know, I don't have all the money that I want in the world. I don't have the best job. I don't have a spouse. I don't have a child. I don't have, and when I have that, then I'm going to be happier. And so there's this concept called be, do, have, that was very eye opening when I learned it. Most of the population walks around with have, do, be. When I have this, then I'll be able to go do these things, and then I'll be happy. And the polar opposite, the 180 degree around is the right equation, which is you have to be. You have to act as if you already have all the things that you want because your subconscious mind is such a powerful thing. And I have to tell you, Matt, I am seeing this in action for me. And for um, my team right now, everybody having this synergistic focus on taking steps towards what you want. So the perfect example, and we talk about it all the time on the podcast, and I know people are sick of me talking about just call your people that you know. (laughs) And I've done this. I have my team doing this. We haven't even started to work on leads, leads, uh, getting leads coming in because everybody's so busy because they're just focused on a couple key things. So it's just a little bit of energy and coming from a place of being positive and being happy and the, and the energy is helping. And then they're doing the activities and then they're having the result, which is the listings or the sales. And it's, it's just incredible. Another example for me, you know, we're working really hard, Matt, you and I are working so hard on our, finding the time in our lives and with all the additional things that are going on, shifting gears yet again to recreate what it is we want to have happen with our coaching company. And I'm simplifying and focusing on my team. And I have been putting the energy out for several weeks about reconnecting with now, just, just listen, this is, and I can't wait to to talk to everybody. I'm going to say this on the, on the podcast. I started to say the radio, I'm going to put this out there on the podcast today Because in the next two weeks, I will be doing what I'm always telling everyone to do on talking to my old past clients for coaching because I've been gathering all the information. We had to put a few things in place so that we could make the offer happen for everybody and switch them from one platform to the next. So I've been going back and looking at this, but putting the energy every day as we work on fine tuning these courses and updating them for you. And we're super excited about this. And and uh, uh, we'll have David on our podcast next week because we're really ready to launch this Elevate program for group coaching. Again, just to help everybody get through all this together because that's how that's what we need at this time. That's so right. anyway, I'm thinking I got to reach out to my past clients. I'm just putting the thoughts out into the universe of who I could talk to. And I'm not kidding you. Last week, I get a call from a past client out well, of the blue. Mark Krupnik, if you're listening, Mark Krupnik, I'm so excited to start working with you again and your team. And he is killing it up in Connecticut. Uh, and Connecticut uh, real estate is is doing always does well. But you know why it's doing so well? People are leaving. Guess where? 
New, New York. Jersey and New York, and they're wanting to buy. And this is he is the epitome of what what the experts are talking about right now of how people want to leave and go to the suburbs, even if they have to make a commute or if they're working from home. The real estate industry is changing so quickly. And if you just get that and get on top of it, you're going to be doing fine. Everyone I'm talking to is doing great because they're focusing on what they want. They're not sitting at home on a self-induced furlough. That's right. Going, well, I'll wait till this all passes and then I'll get back to doing business like we talked last week because I can't do an open house. Therefore, I can't do any business. Yeah. Okay. You know, you're right. You're defeated. You know, so you got to be the person you want to be. You have to take action. And he did. He called me up and just said, hey. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. I, I haven't even put the calls in yet. Okay. So I know for a fact, Matt Emerson, yes, as soon as there. both you and I That's do right. the action plan that we have in place, because we're, we're, we set a goal for Monday, right? To get right. everything lined up and ready to go, that we will attract people to us. And so I'll report that in the next couple of weeks, we'll let you know how well this energy of putting stuff out there and focusing on what you want and setting your intention works, because I'm seeing it like little miracles all around me happening. I love that. And right? you know what? That always happens, Jan, when you refocus back into the BD you have. Always. Yep. I've known you for eight years. You know, <laughs> And every time that you get you, re, you, you refocus back into that, things do start happening. So let me give you a couple of examples and just see if this fits into you get guys listening. This is if you find yourself saying, I will do this thing. If I do this, if I lose weight, okay, perfect mm -hmm. one. I'm going to, um, I'll be able to have this other thing called self-esteem and then I can be happy and confident. I'm going to be happy and confident when I lose the weight. Now the, the counterintuitiveness is, is that you have, you, you start by saying I am happy and confident in how I look right now. Okay. That's a B now do is I'm going to go work out. Like I started walking again yesterday because I started, I, know. I was like, and it was only 81 degrees and it what you saw me, right? I posted I something very yeah. good. Okay. Thank you for noticing. I was like, it was gorgeous too. That sunrise was gorgeous yep. and it yep. was cool out. It was only 82 or whatever. Yep. Um, and then, you know, be do have, and then I can, you know, have, uh, I'm already happy. And then I'll have that, the look or the feel that I want about how my body is. Right. So it's be do have, here's another one. When I have more money, then I'm going to do the things I've been wanting to do, like travel and spend more time with my family. And then I'll finally be free. Right? No, you got to go the other way with it. If I had more time, then I would do more of this working out, spending quality time with loved ones. Then I would be stress-free. So you have to change on the B level first. And so that is also why affirmations are powerful. You have to act as if, and and I, I love being around such powerful people right now who are such manifestors. And if I can, when I'm coaching people, I think we're all manifestors, but there are some people who are just a magnet for attracting positive or negative into their life. Sure. So when you catch yourself with negative things happening, you have to go, I need to take a hundred percent responsibility for exactly where I am because I'm the one who created it. It's not the outside stuff that created it. It's not the pandemic. It's not the government. It's not your family. It's you. It's what you've chosen to do to get you to this point that you're at. And I'm telling you, when you get that, that when I got that, that was so freeing to then not be a victim, but to be a victor, to be the to to be focused on winning and su be, be successful or be happy or whatever it is you want to do because you're being that first. Do you want to be? Go ahead. No, I'm saying it's a process to get to that place, though, to be able to do that. And I'm not saying that it's really difficult necessarily, but it is a process. You can't just, it's not like a light switch where you can just turn it on and off. But you know what it is? It's always about awareness. So yeah. we, we talk about this stuff all the time. You can read things on this. In fact, the book that I recommend uh, is always the throwback is Think and Grow Rich, right? Napoleon yeah. Hill. Go back and revisit that book. There are hundreds of books that are spinoffs of the concepts that Napoleon sure. Hill put into place. There's people before Napoleon Hill that were talking about the same concepts. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. There's actually a quote here about having this burning desire. There is one quality that one must possess to win, and that is definite, definite, definiteness definiteness of purpose. That's a tough one. It is. The knowledge of, of what one wants and a burning desire to achieve it. So that goes back to your purpose and your why, which we talk a lot about. But today I'm just talking about noticing. 
noticing because right now everything is under a microscope and everything is accelerated and bigger because of all the extra levels of stress. I mean, it's just little simple things like yesterday got taken a new listing meeting the photographers. It's all good. I want to go watch the game. And I'm like, where can I go watch the game? I can't go to any of the regular places that are closed. That's right. I did. I did find. I, I went to uh, the the M Resort, which is, uh, and I hadn't really been in a casino, so I was like, I'm not sure if I really want to go in. Well, I found it to be okay. There was not as many people in there. Everybody's wearing masks. Um, all the little places that you could normally go sit down and and sit, they were all roped off. The TVs are on, showing the game, and I had to kind of stand back, saying, "Sorry, you can't come into this little bar area." Um, and then finally, I found a place that was serving food because that's the rule here. If they right. serve food, then you can go in. So you have to sit. You can't sit at the bar. You can sit at the table. And so I ordered some food and a delicious IPA. A Yay, food. I need one of those badly. I had a grapefruit sculpin. Okay. Uh, love that. And watch the Golden Knights. And and it was kind of weird because there's people like six to ten feet away. And, you know, we're you're not really in it. You're not, you know. Right. It's not like we're hanging out, but we're all like cheering the, the thing on. But it's just weird. But I just adjusted to it. And it was because I didn't really want to go home and watch it on TV. I felt like I wanted to be around other people that were going to be excited about oh, watching sure. the game. And But it wasn't like it normally is. Uh, so it's different. But you just I just adjusted to it. And it was still OK. You know what I mean? It was like I'm having fun in the moment with this because it is what it is. It's reality at the moment. Right. So you, what, what the point I was making there is that you catch yourself going, like I could have gone down the path of this is just BS and we can't do this and we can't uh -huh. do, and which is what I hear all day long from people who are polarized on the mask issue or this or that. And I'm just like, where are mask people? Let's just get through this, right? Let's just do this together. Let's try to figure out. I mean, there's an opportunity right now in the world for everybody to come together. And, and we're, we're failing at that <laughs> Miserably. miserably we are in the united states we're, anyway the u.s is failing miserably wonder why the hockey so i was looking at the numbers of like per you know how many people are sick per with the coronavirus per hundred thousand on one of those map things and uh -huh. and if you compare us to canada i can't remember what the number was but it's it's like 10 20 times more here that's why they're not playing hockey here they're in edmonton and in, in toronto the two uh, east and west side of, of Canada because it's like one to two per hundred thousand cases. Uh -huh. People are, you know what I mean? Because, you know, whatever. So it, it you know, so that's the point you can see, so you can start getting down a path. You got to catch yourself is the deal. The awareness comes from, okay, I'm focusing on negative stuff or I'm allowing that. It's not that the news is making me angry back to Charlie. Th th this person is making me angry. No, I'm choosing to allow it to make me angry. I have a choice to, to change that. So I, I feel like we have to vent. So this is why I will call Matt Emerson sometimes and say, <laughs> can I, can you be my, or, you know, I have a couple people in my life I can vent to. You have to have yep, somebody that you can do. vent it out and get it off your chest. Right. So you don't hold on to it. And then it's switch. So the idea is catch it and just redirect and focus your energy on something positive. And for me, I might go listen. I'll watch a hockey game if it's on. That'll change my energy and my emotions and make me feel a hundred percent better. For sure. And then you start building on that. So easier said than done, kind of. Uh, however, well, once you become you, aware, once you become aware of it, and you can make that right. switch, you know, yeah. and it's not just once a day. You're doing it multiple times in a day. You, you know, in different scenarios that come up, absolutely. So, so you yeah. catch yourself going, "Hey, in the moment, you go, wow, am I focusing on what I want, or am I focusing on what I don't want?'" And then just change your mind. It brings up one other little analogy, and I watched it recently, a couple months ago. And it's the red pill, blue pill. Okay, when we talk about awareness, love the movie Matrix, right? Lawrence Fishburne, the scene yep. with Lawrence Fishburne, Keanu Reeves. And he's like, you got an option here. You can take the red pill. You know, I always get confused if it's the red or the blue pill. I, I, think, I think the blue pill is the one that wakes you up. If you take the red pill, you're going to forget all this stuff. And you're going to go back and live in the Matrix in the dream where you're not aware. Uh, and you just go about your life like a little person in the machine, right? And it's such an amazing movie. If you take the other pill, the blue pill, we'll call it. I might have it backwards. Your mind's going to be blown. We're going to show you how far down the rabbit hole you really go. And you're going to be ultra aware. Now, once you do that, there's no going back. Once you open up to the awareness, you can't claim anymore. I didn't get it. I didn't know that I'm responsible for my actions. Yes, you do. Now you do. You know, we don't really have a, a, a red pill for you to take to go back to, to you know, forget. Right. You've expanded your mind. You're aware of that. I just shared it with you if you've never been aware of this.
guess what? You've always been aware of it. You just might not want to think about it and take responsibility for your life. It's easier to blame everybody else. Or blame the pandemic or blame the president or blame it's the Democrats. It's the Republicans fault that I'm so miserable. No, it's your fault. So today, take responsibility. Be aware of what you're focused on. Make positive things happen in your life because it's happening every day around me. I hope it's happening every day around you. That is good stuff. You're listening to the Wandering But Not Lost podcast, where real estate and reality meet. Join us and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Play, and now on YouTube. That's a wrap for episode 130 of the Wandering But Not Lost podcast, where real estate and reality meet. All of our show notes, once again, are over at WBNLpodcast.com. Jenna Brian, that was really good stuff, and I think it's stuff that really... Uh, talk about things that are ne- something that is needed right now in everybody's life as we live through this uh, laborious uh, pandemic, uh, you know, just to focus on the positive things because there are still so many positives. It makes, make them happen is my point for everybody today. Make it happen. Choose to get up every day and be happy. That's right. Be productive. Remember, be do have. You get to be however you choose to be today. How's it going for you? If it's not going well for you, change it. That's what I want to say. And I want to say, I have to say, go Knights Go. I just (laughs) have to say, go Knights Go. You find the thing that's your little go Knights Go, and and it'll just make all the difference. And here's the thing, appreciate that, because I think, you know, when you look back on the last six months or five months or however long the hell this has been, and it 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 just is so funny that, you know, we always talk about taking things for granted. But oh my God! Think about the things that we have. We those the, going to going to a restaurant. I mean, who would ever thought that you would take that for granted? You know what I mean? You have to appreciate things in your life, and this kind of goes into what we were talking about a little bit. You know, if you have appreciation, you realize that you are a lot happier than you really think you are. Totally. You know what I'm saying? So you know that's a big part of it. So be and hang around positive people. You know? Yeah. I mean, maybe you're too. quarantined or stuck with someone who's not, but work on it it can be contagious right i think we talked about that Completely. the the attitudes are contagious you know and, and you can be around a whole bunch of grumpy gusses and people that are boohooing and, and and add to the misery or you can start the new the new contagion not to be you know, you know ridiculous about them <laughs> whatever <laughs> but uh, start a new one be positive make good things happen and not everybody's going to be okay with that, by the way. When you start taking responsibility, no, they're, not. Positive, they're yeah. going to try to bring you back to their side. So be aware of that, too. End of the day, you're the master of your own destiny. You're the Am captain right? of your ship. That's right. Let's think of another one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. <laughs> be safe out there. You know, remain calm. Mask up. And be Carry forever, on. Be forever wandering, but not lost. <laughs>